Hello everyone, KV here, and welcome back to Let's Play Undertale The Lines. In the last episode, we fought with Undine. We fought valiantly, we fought victoriously, we kicked her butt solid. Actually, we ran away a lot because I didn't want to fight her. And we gave her some water because she was parched. And apparently Papyrus called us and he was all like, Hey, hey, we should all meet up at Undine's place. I'm sure you'd be great pals. That, that's what he told us, so. That sounds delightful. Call him again? Want to talk about it? Hmm. A mysterious science house. The science says, says lab. Lab? Like, laboratory? Laboratory? Does that mean there are dogs inside? I mean, I wouldn't rule it out. I love you too. All right, what is going on in the mysterious lab of mysterious? Why is that? I'm being monitored. Fifteen minutes of this. This is the episode. No, let's not do that. Um, first things. I guess too dark to see in the wall. Nah, yep. Yeah. It's too dark to see near the walls. Okay. It's too dark to see freaking anything. Hello? What do we have here? We have... Uh... Hello? Yes. I am questioning... Oh. My god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon! I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Um... I'm Dr. Elfies. I'm Ascor's royal assistant. But, 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 uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Uh, actually, since you stepped out of the runes, I have, um, been, uh, um, deserving your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but... Watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, so uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right, right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Met Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, y you know, like a robotic TV star or, some or something like that. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um... An 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 Anti-human combat features? Uh, of, cor of course, uh, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided... I had to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake when, while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> uh, but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. He's here. Did you hear something? It's gonna break through that wall. Like, right there. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Welcome, beauties. <laughs> to today's quiz show! Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show! Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestants! Never played before, gorgeous! No problem, it's simple! There's only one rule! Answer correctly! Or you die! Ow. 
I am grooving so much to all of this. This is amazing. All right. Cry. Screaming is against the rules. Well, let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Uh. All right. Sounds like you get it. The quiz show continues. Time to Oh, okay, so we have to kind of win this quiz show! Here's your terrific prize! What's the king's full name? Uh. Correct! What a terrific answer! I just love they made a quiz show on Drew. They does like Mario RPGs, but I'm glad they actually like made us do an actual battle. That's that's freaking hilarious. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made out of? Too easy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another easy one for you. <laughs> what? Um. Um. I'm sorry. Ow. 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 Okay. How many flies are in this jar? Oh my god. Are you? We're having actual real questions though. Um. Lovely! Uh, that's just that's just amazing. All right, I'm good at that. Okay, monster is this? I know what that is. That's a frog. What? That was a froggit. What? What? You cheating little piece of you? Would you smooch a ghost? Letters in the name Matetan. I hate you. Oh, oh I knew this one. She buys ice cream for. Elfies, elfies, elfies. You aren't helping our contestants, are you? Who? you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Um... Okay, thank goodness. Why would someone outfit amusing robots with brutal combat capabilities? Simple. To impress Mr. Ask or Dreamo, of course. Or as Alfie's calls him, Mr. Dreamy. Those strong arms. That lustrous beard. Like all those who create weapons. She creates a tender embrace for a burly man. Can she truly be blamed? Well, well, well. If Dr. Alfie's helping you out, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But. But. This was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama. More romance. More bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. And don't come back, please. Well, well that was certainly something. That was. That was a thing, and you should be ashamed of yourself for making that thing, because that thing almost freaking killed me! Understandably, everything else has been trying to kill me, so that's fair. But, you admitted that you didn't want to kill me, and then that thing comes popping out of this hole. 
He wasn't supposed to ask that one. I'm sure he wasn't. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let me give you my f phone number. Then, maybe, if you need my help, I could... Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. But Toriel gave it to us. Here, I upgraded it for you. You can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. The freaking heck? Oh, dimensional box. Alright. Oh, sweet. So we have an expanded inventory now. That is awesome. You didn't give me your phone number. You didn't give me your phone number. You told me you were going to give me your, your phone number. Well, what are you... What the... What the... what the hell? What the hell? What is... What is all of this? It's a promo poster from Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. <laughs> Amazing. It's a lamp with pink fish in the lampshade. There's no light bulb. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. Oh my. Looks like Alfie's work table. Seems dusty. Wait. Why is there a chainsaw there? It's just point that out like cute cat poster. On tidy clothes plus one tidy clothes. Chainsaw. And now this is the rest of the episode. Walking on this escalator. This pathway thing, whatever. What the heck is this? Pink goop drips from the strange machine. B b what is it? B what is it? All these books are labeled a human history. Read one? Sure. You look inside a book. It's a comic book. A hideous android is running into the school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. <laughs> well, it's, it's accurate in the some respects, but I've never actually read a manga that actually has a robot running to school with toast in its mouth. Unless it was a toaster. Or maybe it was an episode Robot Jones never watched, so you never know. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as... What the heck? It's like... Gender-bent Dragon Ball Z, except they shoot pancakes at each other? Various cartoons. They are all labeled Human History. <laughs> all these books are labeled Human History. Is it a comic book? Yeah, it's a comic book. A giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. I haven't even heard of half of these! Where are these from? Where can I read these? They sound... Terrible, but also amazing. They seem very dusty. Actual science. Science. Science? Science? It's probably science. These four are actually not science. I mean, to be fair, one of my favorite movies is Lilo, is Lilo and Stitch, and Agent Pleakley, who is the so-called expert on Earth... Has knows absolutely nothing about Earth. <laughs> I'll have you know that the in, the mosquitoes are an endangered species. That's pretty cute. That movie's amazing, though. You should go watch that movie. If, if you've never seen Lilo and Stitch, it's a fantastic movie. One of their best. Beautifully hand drawn animation, fantastic voice work, and a very cute little story with awesome aliens. So it's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Seems like the notes to something. But it's all written in Chicken Scratch. Seems like a walkthrough game. Or to a game where... You're, you're, you're gonna give me all of, like, this. 
It's a beat of figure of... What the freak? The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Yeah, sure. I'll take some more! Oh, I'll just can we get one. Because for the king, right? Right, what's in here? Oh. So he's kind of burst out of there for no reason. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I wanna go find you, Alphys. That is not... Just realized I didn't have Undine fight the human. We didn't watch. Is this gonna be a common thing now? Yeah, I'm just gonna get status updates now. I'm not even con like you. You automatically connect to the internet without telling me that. That's just freaking fantastic. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her a bit about it later. All right. This is gonna get obnoxious very fast. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. I run into Vulcan! You're adorable! Also, I probably... Probably... I'm gonna hug. And your whole body out, your defense draft. Um... I am going to walk back to the save point, because... Wait. Crap! Alright! Well, this is gonna be fun. Alright. We're gonna walk back. We're, we're just gonna... Gonna go back, gonna save... Gonna be safe. Let's not get into too much trouble. I mean, there's a save point right over here. So we might as well use it. That was a good game show, except for that last part where it sucked. So like, you could lose that fight. That that would just be that would just be mean. All right, I'm gonna do to do to do. All right, thank you. Yeah, that did refill my ah. So I should have wasted the noodles, but whatever. Whatever. We'll do it live. Which we're all doing, so never mind. Well, kind of, sort of. Alive in the sense of me recording, not so alive in the sense of you watching. Okay, well, she'll call me eventually, I'm sure. I mean, that's what she said she was gonna do. So if I just don't do anything in the escalators, hopefully I should be okay. Can I call him in a minute? Okay. Sundare plane? Uh, half the time I just look I just look out my window like I'm on the office, just like, what the hell? What is this? What is this? That you like its taste in movies and books. <laughs> okay. Sundare plane likes to drop freaking bombs on you, stealth bombers. Looks over, and then turns up its nose. Approach. Okay. Well, that's a little awkward. Now. Okay. Uh, this game's more of a puzzle game than an RPG when it comes to when it comes down to it, but... I want health, please. Oh, wait. Bumps into you with its wing. Okay, bye-bye. It becomes normal plane, apparently. Good for it! This reminds me of Chrono Trigger. Good times. Good times. Very simplistic area. There we go. We just needed the whooshing sound of steam and cogs that to fill us with determination. And no items, so this is gonna be fun. But I think we'll leave it off here. 
Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Undertale Blind. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button below, and if you want to see more content from me, please consider subscribing. Undertale is available on Steam. It's a lovely, charming little game, and if you like Earthbound or the Mother Games, or you just like an RPG with a quirky sense of humor and a very unique sense of style, I'd highly recommend picking it up. You can also pick up the soundtrack with it too, if you'd like, and there'll probably be a link in the description below for you to go grab that at your leisure. So, have a great day, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, ciao!